Hi, it's Leroy Scott again at Leroy Scott TV. Thank you so much again for tuning in. I hope that you have been um, enjoying all of our videos here at Leroy Scott TV. I want to talk about dealing with depression today. And if you go to my website at www.leroyscott.com and just click on the blog link, there are several different articles on there that can really, really help you with depression. You know, many people struggle with depression and don't even call it depression. So I want to identify four simple things that you've really got to be aware of and that in many cases you might not, not even realize it, but they are signs and symptoms of what could possibly be depression for you. Number one is social withdrawal. Um, anytime you're experiencing feelings of withdrawing or coming out of your social circles or just not really wanting to be in social environments, there is a possibility that you can have depression. So if you do have depression, and one of the things you want to do is make sure that you force yourself to be connected. I tell people that I treat who have depression um, at significant levels, I tell them that I want you to do your best to stay in your social circles. Even though your body and your brain doesn't want to be socializing and be in those environments, I want you to make a conscious effort to go and make sure that you're socializing and that you're well connected. The next thing um, is ruminating in, with negative thoughts. Did you know that I had a client once, and I want to share this with you, I had a client once, and uh, they, they told me that they spent at least 35, 45 minutes to an hour just driving around for no apparent reason, just driving around. They could be on their way home or whatever, and they could just drive around. They could be on a lunch break, and they just drive around neighborhoods looking around. They say, well, I thought I was just sightseeing. Well, in reality, they were ruminating. And could you imagine they were spending 45 minutes to two hours a day just ruminating, driving around. And sometimes that driving around was filled with their negative thoughts, always thinking about their problems, always feeling bad about situations. And that was a clear indication of depression. The other thing you've got to understand is that people use different things to treat depression. Now, some people use drugs and some people use alcohol. If you're drinking alcohol as a way to combat feeling bad or feeling depressed or dealing with your issues, I want to suggest that you seek professional help. You know, another thing I realize that um, is, is fairly new, kind of in this generation of, of young people, especially that have depression. Depression normally will cause a lack of energy or a lack of motivation. Well, a lot of times what people do in order to get more energy, what they do is they drink sugar drinks or they drink energy drinks. And basically they say, well, I just need that buzz. I just need that energy. But what they don't realize is the reason that their lack of energy is so significant is because they have some significant levels of depression. You know, depression is a very, very serious issue. The good thing about depression is it's very treatable. So don't mask depression by just doing things to cover up depression or putting a Band-Aid on it. I want you to seek professional help. And I want to tell you something. I'm not just your life coach. I'm not just your relationship coach. I am a licensed professional counselor and licensed mental health counselor in two states in the United States of America. And I want to help you. And I can help you. If you're not in the cities where my private practices are, I want to get you to the places where you can get some professional help. Depression is treatable. And God didn't give you a spirit of fear. God doesn't give depression and depression can be, de depression can be overcome and depression can be defeated. <laughs>